Greetings of the day, dear friends. Myself, Professor Harish Ringe, working as a head of the department in Civil Engineering Department at CSNSS College of Polytechnic, Aurangabad. Today, we are going to look at two different aspects of e-learning. That is how to create Google Quiz and also how to auto generate certificates. As nowadays we have seen that many of the colleges are conducting online quiz and they are issuing the certificates. So these certificates are auto generated and in this particular session we are going to see that how exactly these particular certificates are being generated and how we are supposed to go for conducting a quiz. So let us start with the today's session. While going for uh, creating the quiz, you can go on your browser. Okay, let us see. Uh, I have gone over here. Just type on google.com. Over here, you can type out the Google form. Once you write down the Google form, click in not. Click on this. After clicking on that particular tab, you are going to get the window as you are seeing over here. Then click on go to Google form. After click on that Google form, you are going to get this particular window. As again, if you are Log in to the this browser of the Chrome. That particular mail ID is being placed over here. If not, you can log in over here. Or if you are supposed to go for another account, you can change it from this particular tab. Okay? I am going to do demo with this particular country. So let's have a look. As you can see that there are some of the different Google Forms on my particular portfolio and if now I am interested to create another one so click on blank you will see that these are the different view that I am getting on my window so for going for particularly quiz you are supposed to go for settings in this setting you can click on quizzes and click on this particular make this is a quiz after clicking on make this quiz you will get some of the options that you can select release the mark immediately after each submission or later after manual review whichever you require you can select it any one of these you can select it then the respondents can see the missed questions correct answer and point values this also I have ticked it because I am supposed to show the every respondent which question they have missed, their correct answers and how much points they have scored. Okay, so this is now ready with the quiz. Now, if you are interested to go for creating a quiz and again you are supposed to allot certificate, then first of all some of the details you are supposed to be taken. The first one thing is that their email address that is compulsory then add again some of the tabs I will add second tab in that again I will write down that short answer or you can say that paragraph in which manner you require you can write down it over here so you can say that name of the participant name of the participant if you require you can mention the description also Kindly write down full name as mentioned. For example, like this, you can mention some of the things this is 
the required means compulsory so you can make it required then go to the next again take down their mobile number if you require you can write down mobile number because on first page my these are all the content will be there and on next page i will have some of the quiz so now here write down quiz okay write down here some questions aurangabad is add here some options
it. One I will write down the correct answer and another will be wrong answer. So we can see that what exactly the response is there. So we can see the score. Yes, the blue was correct. So it shown that the color of the sky is blue. That is correct. So tick mark is right. And we have given wrong answer. So we understood that this is a wrong answer. And the correct answer was animal. So like this, we can conduct an online quiz. We can add n number of the questions in this particular quiz, whichever required in the form of this particular pattern. You can take short answer, paragraph, multiple choice, checkbox, drop down list, linear scale means if you are interested to give any of the conditions, then you can give it. So like this, you can conduct the quiz on Google Forms. And also you can check out the different summaries over here okay so now this was related to the creating a quiz now if you are interested to go for assigning the certificates for the participants whoever are participating so just click on this three dots you will get this particular menu over here and click on the add-ons once you click on the add-ons, this particular window is pop up. Write down here certify PM. Yeah. Or you can if you just write down CERT, you will get the instruction. Then this particular certify here will be there. Click on there, this particular tab. You are going to see one another window wherein this particular plugin is been shown where as already I have uninstalled it so therefore it is showing uninstalled but in your case it will be installed so just install this plugin of certify em so after installing that you are going to see this particular tab over here add-ons whichever add-ons you have taken on your this forms after clicking on that you are going to see a tab like this but this is not showing all the menus so what I am interested to do is that just log out from this particular tab and again log in because some of the time it might quite possible that the add-ons will create an error and that's why you are supposed to go on again log out and log in then go on again Google Forms Last one is here. Okay, the add-on is here now. Again, we will check for certify EM. Yes, now you can see that enable certify EM in this piece. You are going to see over here. It will ask you certify EM is now enabled for use in this piece. So you just can say that start here. Once you get this, you are going to get an, another window here which will give you details related to the certificates. The certification is off right now. Whenever you are supposed to complete the procedure, you can say that turn on. Means the person who you are meeting with the criteria, that person will automatically be signed with the certificates. Okay, this criteria you can select whatever criteria you are supposed to be given. So I will say that for 60% or for the 50% of the participant who are scoring more than 50% is supposed to get a certificate. So passing is 50%. Here are some of the templates which you can use inbuilt. And if you are not supposed to take an inbuilt, so you can just select the one which is you can write down here you are supposed to create some of the slides because if you are having a particular kind of the certificate then you can take that particular format of the certificate as per your choice but some of the slides you are supposed to be have 
along with you first of all okay so you can see that this is the certificate which is i have created for my last particular quiz and now as per our requirement we are going to create one another certificate and how to create that that we are going to see just come on the last page of the new we are we are there in google slides as you can see that all these activities are being performed through the this particular mail id and it should be a same for google form google slides then and then only you can fetch the data automatically okay so now as i am here on my window so what i am supposed to be done before coming to this particular activity is that i am supposed to have some ready pictures of the certificate image should be there which should be a background of the my certificate that should be created that we are going to see now i have created already for my particular practice or the quiz so these are the some different certificates i can tell show you by opening it okay i have created one jpg image of having this background this can be created with using photoshop and make an image like this and just take down this particular image over here once you got your image you can adjust it as per your requirement right click on it say order and send it to back now here is your title you can add what things you required to be mentioned this is to certify that now as i am have i'm supposed to have the names or the content whatever required so i can say that this can be the format of this particular content can be checked on the website of the certified em you can go on here certifyem.com click on the help how to create your own custom certificate templates you can go on there and you will get that wherever this particular content which type of content you require what command if you are, you are supposed to be inserted that is being mentioned here or here it is mentioned that if you are supposed to put in full name then take that full name into the double curly commas i am going to take it now on my particular this one full name close it uh, attend it one day session on learning on date now i am supposed to mention the date so just check out how in which format you are interested yeah i am mean interested in ddmm y y y y so date 2 is the given it is in continuation so date to close it you can come down you can write out here if you required you can write down the name of the college of institute it is shown that the title of the google quiz means what what title we are interested to take it or hear that if you go on your quiz you are supposed to check what is the particular mention 
title is there so name of the institute i will take it over here and will enter on my this condition now select it go for its setting if you want to change the fonts of this particular content you can change it from here if you want to change the color you can change the color So likewise we can create this particular slide so that this slide will be fetch up into the certificate. Now just save. You can save this particular certificate for demo it can be written over here. Okay, just make it save. If you are interested to keep the copy of it, download it from here on your desktop. Okay, to download it, start it. It will download. Okay, now just come on the content that we are checking. I will close it off. Go on this. Use a custom template. On select a file by which name we were having that slide that we are supposed to be keep in mind. Yeah, it was by certificate for demo. Select now your particular certificate is ready. Certificate is on. Just minimize it and take a review. Is it that particular mail certificate is generating properly or not? Write down your answers. Write down the name of the institute. Okay. As keep in mind that only for the candidates who are scoring more than fifty percent is going to be given this certificate and that's why if only i am supposed to score more than 50 percent then only it was expected to be get the certificate and that's why we can see that is it the certificate is generated or not on my cell particular mail id or the whatever mail id i have submitted on that mail id the certificate has been sent. So you can we will, we will check out is it the certificate is created. Yes, I have got one mail. I will check out. It is mentioned that comrades Harish, you have passed your certificate is attached. So just check out this particular certificate. Yes. The certificate is created. You can see that okay, name of the institute is been not came up over here. So one more time we are supposed to go on for checking what problem is occurred over here. Again just go on the Google slides. And check out what exactly the problem was there. Keep in mind that as we have directly connected this Google Slides to the certificate, so whatever changes we will make in this particular certificate now, that will be the connected or that will be the changes in your particular certificate.
Okay, for this uh, we are supposed to take a look about that. What we can be added. Okay, from this I think so. Uh, you might be come up with the things how to create the Google quiz and how to generate auto generate the certificates for your case. Some of the additional things you can be checked out on your own. And if you are having any of the queries. You can contact me through my mail ID that is hodce1152 at the red gmail.com or else you can contact me through WhatsApp or general message or call on my mobile number that is 83789 Thank you. Thank you very much.